right, Tris. Loved this installment because it's the middle movie, and so yeah. you get a little scared that oh, is it just gonna feel like a bridge? And it doesn't. Yeah, it's fun, right? It's fun. It's very violent. It's very badass for you. What was the training like? Did you have to train all like a dauntless boot camp all over again? No, the, there actually wasn't much training for this film at all. There was a little basic physical fitness, but for the most part, it was just um, ensuring we were fit. But but there wasn't any like choreography or particular stunty type of mm -hmm. work. Oh, that's, that's interesting because it seems like it was pure action. Yeah, like, the entire time. Yeah, I mean, and the great thing is the action involved in this film was a lot of wire work and parkour work. So that's cool. Um, you do I you, you don't really train and practice for it. It's more just on the day you're like that's what I'm doing. All right, let's okay, do it. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> and you came out without any broken anything. I know, so lucky. <laughs> that's pretty nice. Yeah. So Tris in this film, she she's much more she's hardened and she's dealing with a lot. Obviously, Sorry, I almost bless you. <laughs> Because of what happened, you know, in Divergent, was that hard for you to get into that character? Because you're very, like, light and bubbly and kind, and she's kind of hating on everything. I mean, we're in different places. She just lost both of her parents, you know. She had to shoot one of her best friends. She witnessed a genocide. She's coming from a very dark place and dealing with pretty severe PTSD. And in addition to that, has this woman that she's determined to sort of take out, take down. And so in the process of, of all of that, um, you you see the unfoldment of someone who is strong but also very broken. Mm -hmm. I can't let anyone else die because of me. No one else is going to die because of me. You know, I'm just one person. I'm not worth it. No, you are worth it. You are worth it to me. You have to promise me that you're not going to leave it. I want you to promise me that you won't go. Now, how, you know, Tris is certainly a role model for young women, and I think it's neat to watch her journey of, there's a lot of self-hate, that's really what it is going on, and then eventually she reaches this point of self-love for people that, watch the film or are watching this interview and are in that place, what's your advice for getting to a, a moment of self-love? Um, self-love, you know, it's, it's, it's something that is of the utmost importance, in my opinion, and uh, it can be difficult to try and achieve, but I think that the most important thing to remember is it's always there. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't go anywhere, even if we can't see it. Uh, it'll be there waiting for when we're ready. So yeah. if you're getting hard on yourself for not being able to access your own happiness or your own self-compassion, let it go and just recognize that it's still waiting there. I like that. Okay, last question. If you had to rename this film, what would you name it? Oh. I don't know. Insurgente. <laughs> I don't know. Um, uh... Miles said triceps and heavy breathing. So oh my god, that's can, great. <laughs> that's that's what, done. Same? Yeah, let's do par uh, parkour. Parkour? Okay. <laughs> I like it. Parkour. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, Good you to see you. How do you make a career in show business? Join us on the set where we meet groundbreaking Hollywood talents who made bold decisions to pursue their dreams of making entertainment history on screen. The boldness is just like a character trait. You know, you just have to step out there and give it a shot and not be afraid.